In recent times, some television preachers have tried to argue that Jesus never actually died on the cross. Can this be true? Let us begin our investigation by examining whether the Quran does indeed deny the crucifixion. Only one passage deals with the crucifixion. Only one passage speaks to this issue. Surat al-Nisa, Ayah 157. They, the Jews, speaking of the Jews, said in boast, notice that they were boasting something. They said, we killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the apostle of Allah. But they killed him not, nor crucified him, but so it was made to appear to them. That verse says, they, they, the Jews, the ones boasting, did not kill him. It doesn't say he did not die. Ask yourself the question. Out of more than 6,000 verses, why is there just one passage for such an important subject as the crucifixion? Why would there be just one passage denying that, if denial was the intent? We find, in fact, that there is a certain agreement with the Injil, that the Jews did not crucify Jesus, and furthermore, that they, in their boast, just as we see in the Injil, were not successful in defeating the mission of Rasulullah Issa al-Masih. We cannot take these, this passage, one and only passage, and read into it with a certainty that there never was a cross and that Jesus was not crucified on it because number one, it tells us it wasn't the Jews that crucified him, which we know historically is a fact. Secondly, it doesn't tell us clearly that there was no crucifixion. Thirdly, it tells us the whole thing is shrouded in doubt and conjecture. And fourth, that Allah raised him up. Look at Surah Maryam and Ayah 33. It says there, is Sal Masih speaking, so peace is on me the day I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I shall be raised up to life again. It speaks of the death of Jesus. Well, when does that happen? What's the time frame? Well, there are other verses that seem to situate the event. Look, for example, at Surat Al-Maidah and Ayah 117. And I, Jesus, Isa speaking, was a witness over them while I dwelt among them. So the time frame is given to us by the witness of the Quran. While I was among them. Well, what does the phrase, you did take me up, mean? In Arabic, it is very clearly Tawafatni. Tawafatni simply means you caused me to die. I died. When we speak of a person that has passed away, we say Tawafak, which means he has ceased from this life. He has died. Many figures of tafsir have grappled with this issue and have come to the conclusion that before the taking up of Isa al-Masih to heaven, to be with Allah, death had to have occurred. And the Injil testifies that this death was by crucifixion. So we see that in Islam, many have come to an understanding that Isa al-Masih did die. And since there is doubt and conjecture, what shall we do to clear up, uh, to clear, if you wish, the air? Well, the Quran tells us what to do. The Quran tells us that when there is doubt, for example, in Surah Yunus and Ayah 94, the Prophet of Islam is instructed, if you are in doubt as to what we have revealed to you, then ask those who have been reading the book from before you. And since it's a matter that is proclaimed in the Injil, we're talking about the book before him, that is the Injil, the New Testament, where it tells us time and again that yes, Jesus did die. It explains when he died, why he died, how he died, and what happened after he died. The testimony is abundant. As a Muslim, I had been taught my entire life that Jesus did not die on the cross based off of that interpretation of chapter 4, verse 157 of the Quran. But as I investigated history and I looked at what the truth of the matter was, it became incontrovertibly clear that Jesus did die on the cross. 
So I could no longer accept that interpretation of the Qur'an. I had to come up with some alternate explanation. And to me, the only thing that would fit the evidence was that Jesus actually did die on the cross.